Hi, I'm Robin Higgins, and this is Does Vapor Pressure Increase with the Increasing Volume of the Liquid? All right, so let's take a look at vapor pressure and what that means. So I've got up here a handy dandy flask drawing, and you can see here is our water level. And so we have all of our water molecules hanging out in the water. Obviously, there's thousands and thousands more, but let's just draw these guys. So, every liquid naturally has a vapor pressure, which means that up here at the surface, there is a couple of water molecules that escape from the liquid and go into the gas. Obviously much less than the water, right? This is very compact and dense, and then just a few of these water molecules have escaped and they've gotten up here. And so this is why something evaporates, right? Eventually, over time, uh, all of the liquid molecules will evaporate into the atmosphere. Um, but in this case, we have a closed container, right? So we've got our flask, our little stopcock here, nothing's getting out. So we have a permanent vapor pressure up here. So let's look what happens if we take this uh, stopcock off and then we put water in and we put it back on. And so now our water level is raised. And so we still have our liquid water molecules down here. And we have a lot more, right, because we've added water. And so instinctively, you want to say, oh yeah, the vapor pressure would increase because there'd be so many more that they just want to escape out. But that's actually not correct. So if you have the same temperature, the same liquid, and all you do is add a little bit more, the vapor pressure is going to remain the same because there's a certain equilibrium and this water only wants to obtain that certain vapor pressure. Even if you take a syringe and you syringe out the gas from the top of here and you get all the vapor pressure, you get all the water molecules out and there's nothing there, the same number of water molecules will eventually escape from the liquid and reform that vapor pressure. Um, so there's really no way by adding or removing liquid that you can change the vapor pressure. Now how you can change it is by increasing the temperature. So if you had a little flame here, a little burning oven, my sweet oven drawing, uh, and you heated this all the way up, then all of these water molecules would have more energy and they would be able to escape faster out of the liquid and into the gas environment. So that's how we're gonna increase the vapor pressure. I'm Robin Higgins and this has been, does increasing the amount of liquid increase the vapor pressure?